Hey guys, it's Jay from Legend Gaming. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the crossbow in Battlefield 1. So this is a gadget for the support class that we just got in the giant DLC update. And it's not a giant DLC update, it's the map, the giant, the DLC update that came out today. Uh, we got a new weapon, and it is a technically not a weapon, but a gadget for the support class. Now I'm going to be go th going through this, both the frag and the HE variant. I'm just going to look at the damage to infantry, damage to vehicles, reload, and there's some weird stuff with when the explosion happens, and some explosive radius stuff. So, basically the HE variant almost explodes on impact, especially when it hits a vehicle. However, the frag variant has some weird sort of variation in when it explodes, which I'll get into right now. Is both of them explode faster after hitting an object. So, for example, you can see when I shoot straight up in the air, it takes 5.6 seconds to explode, but when I shoot it and bounce off the ground, it it took anywhere between 1.67 and 0.9 seconds to explode. I'll get more in depth into those numbers because I, there is a method to the variation. Yeah, that's pretty much the only thing that's the same between them and the reload speed of around 2.75 seconds. So you get two grenades for each of these, and they can be replenished by the ammo crate. Um, it does take a while, but there's a method that I have that I think I have to replenish them quicker. And in addition to this, something that's really weird is when you keep this stowed without even trying to replenish ammo, it self-replenishes its own ammunition. So if you shoot both of your crossbow grenades out, and then you stow the crossbow away, and you run with your LMG for like five or six seconds, when you pull the crossbow back out, you'll have a grenade that you'll have to reload in. Now, this is really weird and it doesn't really make sense, but it's a cool tip if you're just wanting to replenish them quickly. All you have to do is just stow it and it'll replenish it for you. And you actually can reload both um, of the shells or grenades into the, your um, sort of storage. So that works, you can replenish both of them with an ammo crate, which essentially means infinite grenade spam from this. So it's kind of overpowered, but the weapon itself is fairly underpowered, so it's not too big of a deal. So. The frag variant does 100 damage to infantry up close, which is what you'd expect, but the radius seems to be like one meter. Like you literally have to pretty much be standing on top of the grenade to kill someone. I use the example of trying to kill myself with the grenade, and I show you I step closer and closer, and it doesn't really kill me until I'm standing right on top of it, as you can see in this clip. Um, whereas with the AG variant, when I stood right on top of it, it only did 55 damage, which means that it's a two-shot kill. However, the HE variant does eight damage against the heavy tank, whereas the frag variant only does five damage against the heavy tank. So based on this, we can guess that the HE does 60% more damage to vehicles. So you can sort of just apply that to all the other vehicles that you have. So it's a general 60% increase to vehicles with like a 45% decrease to infantry, uh, which is really what you see between these two. I'll do a more in-depth uh, video sort of comparing both of these and telling you which I think is better but that's really the stats that I have right now. Now with the explosive after hitting the ground I'm gonna recommend is shooting this off of walls and as you see in one of the clips I shot it right at the ground when an enemy is right next to me and they killed him um, because when you shot it at the ground when I shoot it at the ground right in front of me it basically after hitting the ground it takes 1.67 seconds to explode. Now you'd expect the time after it hitting the ground to be consistent, but it seems that when I shoot it, it sort of triggers like, it's weird. It sort of triggers like an acceleration in the time that it takes for the grenade to explode once it hits the ground. So when I shot it at against a wall, it only took 1.27 seconds and 1.25 seconds to explode. That's just because I slightly changed the angle. And then when I shot at longer distance, it took 0.9 seconds to explode after it hit. So there's some sort of ratio where the longer it's in the air, sort of still reduces the time that the grenade has to cook, and then once it hits the ground, it explodes even faster. So I mean, I would recommend shooting it off walls if you know an enemy's around a corner, or try to bounce it right on that corner, because it'll increase the chance that it takes to explode, because if you're shooting it in the air and trying to basically hit an enemy, you're not going to kill them. Like, it, I barely got any kills on this map while playing with it for like an hour. I probably only got like 10 or 12 kills, and it's kind of hard to use. So, I'd recommend using this tip to try to get kills, and if you're trying to Hail Mary it across the map, um, you're going to need to get extremely lucky to kill someone, because 
you basically have to hit the person to kill them, and the grenade has to explode on them. If the enemy even tries to run away a little bit, they're not going to get killed by it unless they're damaged. So, what do I think about this addition to the game? I think it's a pretty cool addition for the support class that if they at least have something to take out vehicles. 8 damage to the heavy tank is kind of weak, but I mean the support class isn't really meant to be an anti-tank class. Now, what I do think needs to be changed is the damage to infantry. I think the blast radius should be at least 3 meters, um, where if you're standing a bit further away from it, it can kill you. Because right now, just to be standing on top of it is really frustrating to use. And I mean, especially when compared to the airburst, it's borderline useless. And I know you'll have people who run the crossbow and the airburst, but honestly, running a mortar and a crossbow isn't really helping your team because you're not using the ammo crate, which is what's supposed to support your team. So I do think they need to change that if they want people to actually use this alongside an ammo crate rather than alongside an airburst mortar. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, don't forget to drop a like down below for much more giant DLC content. Tell me what you guys want to see from me in the future. But that's what it is for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.